Good afternoon, everyone. I'm in my office at school, and um, we have a lot of uh, uh, pending work with the education department. So, since the lockdown has been relaxed, we are at school, and um, I'm finding a lot of time on my hands here. So, I thought, why not do a video? on something that my teachers and my staff and the teachers whom I've trained have been asking me for quite some time now. And uh, this topic is something very common for most of us. But for some of us, it's something really important, which uh, we believe can change our life in our workplace and also in our social circles okay i'm talking about spoken english i just want to share a few thoughts of mine um, which uh, i think can help some of us if not all okay so i have a lot of teachers coming in for interviews and uh, you know just today i took two interviews and um, what I see is most of the teachers who come, I always look at the positive side because I remember the time when I went for my first interview, I was a thorough nervous wreck. And I can't believe that I'm sitting here today talking about something that was such a big uh, problem for me some time back. So everybody can achieve success especially in something that they have been very afraid about we just need to be um, pursue it and uh, try to achieve something that we feel we can't okay so I'm going to talk about uh, three words which if pronounced well can uh, help you sound better when you speak English. So the three words are A-R-E-R, -E Y-O-U-R, your, I-S, is. Okay, so when you are saying these words in a sentence, for example, how are you? If you could say it as how are you? It would make a more uh, better way of uh, saying it. The person who's listening to it would be more impressed. When you say, how are you? As opposed to, how are you? Another one, where are you going? Try to say, where are you going? Not where are you going? Where are you going? When are you coming? When are you coming? Okay, so with this uh, word A-R-E, try to write down at least 20 sentences and say it the way uh, I just told you to say it. Okay? Unless we practice, we can't unlearn something. So don't be afraid to try to speak better. You know, uh, my Malayalam is not great. But still, when I got married, there was... Uh, when I went to my husband's house for the first time, all of them used to speak in Malayalam. There were a lot of elderly people and, uh, you know, many people who wanted to speak with me. And I spoke in Malayalam to all of them. And a couple of times, most of them just bursted out laughing the way I was speaking Malayalam. But that did not deter me. And today, I can say I can speak Malayalam 
much much better than what it used to be when I first started. So we can make a beginning and see this is my first video and uh, it may not be the greatest video but uh, we can do better. Okay, so the first word is A R E. R. Next word Y O U R. It's pronounced correctly as your, not your. What is your name? No. The right way is what is your name? What's your name? What's your name would be wonderful. Okay, it's never your. What is your name? Okay, no. And when we teach English, we should 100% avoid this mistake because children will learn from us and they will teach others the same pronunciation of these very common words. So it's never your, it's Y O U R, your. What's your name? Okay, so what are the other examples? How's your health? How is your health? No. How's your health? Okay. Uh, what are the other examples? You can think of about 20 sentences and um, try to say them the right way. The word, try to say the word your correctly in that sentence and you're done. You would never say that word wrongly. So let's take one word at a time. Today I'm giving you three. Okay, so the next word is is I S is it's I S is it's not ease. So in a sentence like, uh, what is your name? So as a teacher, you would surely ask a student, what is your name? So the best way to say it would be, what's your name? What's your name? Which is actually, what is your name? Okay. Never should we say it as what is your name? What is your name? So then even if you go for an interview and you, you will have to use a sentence with is in it. Never say is. Say is. What's your name? Um, he is our friend. He's our friend. He's our friend. That means he is our friend. Okay? He's our son. This is my bottle. This is my bottle. This is my bottle. No. So let's change the way we say these three words. A-R-E-R Y-O-U-R Your I-S is. So to sum it up, I'll just say three sentences for each uh, word okay the first one are how are you no how are you where are you going no where are you going how are you doing today how are you doing today next word your how is your health no how's your health how are your studies? How's your studies? Okay. How are your studies? Then um, uh, the next word is How is your son? How's your son? Don't say how is your son? Where is your lunch box? Where's your lunch box? Don't say, where is your lunch box? The next word, next class. Okay, next video, I'll give you three more words which we can pronounce correctly. Correctly, yeah. So, all of us are learning and um, English is a language which can never be uh, you know, complete without updating and upgrading what your knowledge already is. Okay? 
so stay safe and we'll see you next video bye